to another vlog of black and white in Alaska. It is February and it is Black History Month and a few events taking place during February here in Fairbanks, Alaska. And to one of them, we are taking you with us and uh, yeah, we are going to the museum and to an exhibit that's called Black in Alaska. It's a multimedia project and uh, we will tell you a little bit more about this in a bit. Black in Alaska is a multimedia project with interviews, photos and short videos of 50 Alaskans who are black. Participants are from all over the state and represent diverse backgrounds in each gender and socioeconomic status. Through storytelling, this project aims to dismantle stereotypes and create a deeper connection between the black community and fellow Alaskans. Stories, photos and other media can be found on the Black in Alaska website, blackinalaska.org and are also shared on Facebook and Instagram. at home and gonna have a late dinner time to eat and then to chill a little bit and then go to bed because there's a lot going on this weekend not really going on I just have to do a lot of things before I'm flying out so it is another day here in Alaska and I have been at the hairdresser got a new haircut and um, now I'm heading to Costco to buy some dog food and um, a few more items. Um, we don't do big Costco hauls because we have access to the commissary and post. Um, we save specifically on meat and some other items and then because Craig and I cook a lot so we don't necessarily need all this bulk. Um, we have stuff stored but there are a few items that we get there and let's head there. We are four people in one Uber, ideally, and um, so nobody. We cannot just come with huge suitcases because then we will have a problem. And uh, yeah, I think we travel with more than one person. I think we really need to be mindful of that and to keep costs down. And uh, I'm always a big believer uh, that we are part of a bigger system. We are not just by ourselves here on this earth. So. I packed lightly, strategically, chose my outfit strategically. The good thing is I'm not going somewhere where it will be winter weather, at least not for me. And um, yeah, backpack, um, and that's it. It's coffee time, and I decided to make myself a coffee now, and then add some nachos to it. Nachos and coffee, wow. Yes. Greatest Super Bowl snack combination ever. <laughs> leaving tomorrow so that's a lot of work to fry all this stuff so i just went and bought everything except these are my homemade dips no way come i guess we're going to turn around in a little bit well, i left in the middle of the halftime show and uh oh i almost need some classes i'm holding now the 
cell phone in front of the sun. It's 4.30 and uh, yeah, I still have daylight. And uh, yeah, Norway is walking pretty slow. Um, she's not doing too well. She has issues getting on the couch too. We have elderly animals. Um, been with Emma to the vet because of some digestive issues. She has some issues too. Um, yeah, she's getting weaker. And we'll see how this develops. Yeah, part of life living with animals. So we are walking really slow today. And Korea is just running back and forth in the meanwhile. Yeah, so this is Norway. Um, yeah thought it is warm enough to get her out of the house so she can move a little bit and she also wanted to go but I'm not sure if we're gonna get far today a bit we are heading to the airport because I'm flying out to a conference and I am super excited about this opportunity it's a national conference and Craig will keep everything going here in Alaska. Craig fährt mich gleich zum Flughafen, da ich zu einer Konferenz fliege, zu einer nationalen Konferenz. Und ähm, die findet natürlich nicht in Alaska statt, sondern, ähm, ja, wir, wir nennen das hier die Lower 48. In den andern, alle anderen Staaten in den USA nennen wir die Lower 48. So, yeah, I just said, Sure enough, the, the conference is not taking place in Alaska. I'm flying out to the lower 48 and I um, will not tell you where I'm going. You, um, yeah, can guess where I'm going. travel um, yeah but now I'm in the hotel and uh, I don't think I'm gonna stay up any much longer I will order some food and then just go to bed and tomorrow is the first day or it's actually the pre-conference day and then I will hopefully have some time at a certain point I don't know when the schedule looks pretty tight to explore a little bit the city and yeah but for right now it's better all right it's dinner for two tonight being that Alex is uh, in New Orleans for the uh, conference another conference yeah and uh, the oldest is at the EMT in correction the EMT Academy down in Anchorage getting ready to start that career good thing happy proud of it. now me and the youngest are going to sit down for dinner and uh, celebrating the fact that Alex had a chance to go to New Orleans. We're going to do some shrimp po' boys tonight. Taking Logan on a morning walk on the trails behind the house. Alex is still at the conference in New Orleans. 
The oldest is at the EMT Academy in Anchorage for another week. I think has been down there about two weeks already. Should be heading back next week, hopefully. And the youngest, getting ready to go to school and work. So, here by myself. Most of the day, I'm off today. And normally, Alex walks the dogs. But it's so nice outside, I decided to do it today. I usually just let them out in the dog yard and run for a little bit, but it's time to get outside and enjoy this warm weather we're starting to have. Hope it could last long, I'm not sure. Such a nice day, I couldn't hold back. I had to get out here. I'm, now I'm walking on the Chena River. It's totally frozen over. A lot of people out today walking on the river. It's a gorgeous sight out here. It really is. And somebody's out here with a sled dog team. I guess they're gonna take a ride on the uh, river. So, show you around. Can't beat Alaska on this scenery, you cannot. and I had a small recreational team back when we first got here and over time the kids got old said they didn't want to do it anymore and I asked why and they said they got to clean up too much dog poop so that led us to think uh, reduce the number in the dogs and just keep some as pets and uh, but that was our life back then it was it was nice but it was quite busy with you you know regular work schedule me being in the military Alex doing her thing the school district didn't have to feed run the dogs was it was enjoyable i can tell you that you're on the back of one of those sleds going through alaska and the trails it's just a beautiful thing but uh alex can show you some of the video from that time period session to go it is Saturday and um, then we will fly home um, it's gonna be again a long flight we're not gonna arrive till two o'clock in the morning hours in Alaska and uh, yeah one more session to go packing and then probably gonna have time maybe for a little lunch and then we're gonna head to the airport <music>
back in Alaska. I came back um, Sunday in the early morning hours, two o'clock. Now it's Monday, five o'clock, still daylight, amazing. Um, Norway's doing much better. We're not walking really fast. I only have her with me. She has her ups and downs. She's 13. And yeah, I had a great time in New Orleans with some of my team members. I enjoyed the awesome professional development opportunities. Met a lot of interesting people, great presenters. And yeah, came back with some ideas and tools in my pocket that I'm excited to um, hopefully implement in my program. Uh, yeah, 25 degrees as I was gone, we had a little heat wave going. I believe over 30 degrees, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Not exactly sure how far up the temperatures went. The trees are bare, no snow or barely no snow on the trees anymore, but that doesn't mean it lasts. But we still can get some colder days. Um, spring is definitely not here. I would, yeah, usually it doesn't last. Little did I know that this would be our last walk. In the following days, Norway's health declined and she crossed the Rainbow Bridge on March 9th, in loving memory of one of the most serious, stubborn, but loyal dogs.